Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I'm a leadership and empowerment coach at LFY Consulting. I have a background in organizational leadership, entrepreneurship, coaching, public health, and what I'm really focused on is helping others create careers that they can love. And so in this video, I wanna talk about how to really assess the jobs that you might have as choices for your next step. How, how do you even look for what you're going to do next in your career, in your job, and for your life even, because jobs can relate to who you connect with and who you grow relationships with. Okay, so you've probably heard of making like a pros and cons list. Uh, you've also probably heard of, you know, do something that you're good at, do something that you feel comfortable in. But if you're feeling like you're not making the impact that you wanna make in your, in your work, in your career, then that advice isn't really helpful because what you think you're good at might not be what you want to do. It may not be what you care about. So what we need to create is a evaluation tool, an assessment tool that you can use to basically score job opportunities that you have. So to create this tool, imagine on the left side, we have these different traits and terms that we're going to use to compare jobs. And next to that are going to be the different opportunities that you have. And then you're going to rate them on each term, each terms that you have listed, like one to 10. And then you're going to have like a grading scale. Like if it's over, if it's over 50, then this is an opportunity to look at. If it's over 80, this is something that I really need to seriously consider. If it's under 50, then I need to cross it off the map. And so you want to ensure that whatever points you attribute to these terms are going to total into like a, an, easy, an easy sum to understand. So for example, you want 10 different things you're going to compare jobs to. Each, each thing is worth 10 points. If it hits 10, then it really fits that criteria. And if they hit all 10, 10 out of 10, it's 100. And so then you know that's a really viable option for you. If it, maybe if it's under 70, you don't consider it. Or if it's, if it's over 70, you connect with someone at the company and have a conversation. So create your own, uh, I guess, legend and scoring methodology that serves you. If you want to talk about this more, then you can reach out to me and we can kind of walk through the, the motions. But now let's talk about what actually is used for these different terms and, and such. So you want to focus on what are things that you love to do with work? So look back and say, what do I love to do? And this isn't the job itself, but it's the things that you're doing at work. So is it long-term planning? Is it uh, design thinking? Is it breakthrough improvement? Is it data analysis, et cetera? So those go on the left side uh, as some terms. These are things that you love to do. These excite you. Uh, you also wanna think about, so what are your core values? What do you truly care about? What are you passionate about? And those terms also get on, get on the sheet. And then you also wanna think about, well, what do I wanna learn? Right? What, are, what are the challenges that I want to actually face moving forwards in my career? Because that's going to help you grow in your career instead of just be happy with, at, like, you know, at, at stasis. Um, so now that you have these like three different categories and you can add other things that are really important to you, uh, you now have an assessment tool. They go on, your, on the left side of your list, the different job opportunities go next to it, and then you can score them like one out of 10 or zero out of 10, and then get totals that you can look at each opportunity objectively outside of your fear and your discomfort and hopefully make a really good decision for your next step. Guys, I wanna hear how this goes. If you create this tool for yourself, I've been using it with clients in the past. Um, I use it for myself. It is so much stronger than a pro con list. It's so much stronger than just talking to friends. It's so much stronger than going with your gut feeling. Um, try this out, share it. If you like this video, comment on it. And most importantly, everyone, the whole purpose of this video and all of my content, keep on living for yourself.